Ngama girls are on the move. They're being quite wonderfully playful as well. So they're jumping on each other, uh, enjoying the cool weather. And you can see that, that wildebeest they ate yesterday really did not touch sides. And they're off on the hunt again. This is very exciting. Now, I'm going to keep up with them. I'm already in low range of the road with them. And uh, I've got a, a little secret. Can you believe we're the only vehicle out in the Maasai Mara? The whole reserve. We're the only car. We've got this wilderness wonderland all to ourselves. So they're heading down from below in Gama and they're heading down towards the Mara River which is that dark line of trees you can see in the distance. And between there and here, I'm sure there's something that might garner more than a casual interest from these gorgeous girls. That's quite chilly, quite windy, but I'm warm as anything at the prospect of following these ladies. I've got my shuka. I'm ready to spend some time out here. We've got coffee, we got dinner. So we're all prepared. Sorry, I got a little bit of radio break up there, Rebecca. Uh, sorry, sometimes it depends on where we are. We, we can't, the radio for some reason, oh no, they're on the move again. I'm gonna point the radio at Rebecca, see if I can hear her this time. Now, James is wondering, do any of the lion prides specialize in hunting in the forested areas? Uh, not really, James, and there's actually no real need uh, to hunt in the forested areas. Uh, you don't have the, the density of animals that they do there. I think they, they might occasionally grab something in one of the thicker areas, but they definitely have more success, especially with the length of grass that it is at the moment. And. Uh, they don't, I haven't really ever seen lions so far since I've been here in forested areas. Around the Mara River in the thickets, yes, I've seen them there. I suppose you could consider that a forested area, so Paradise Pride. I uh, like to lie in ambush for animals coming to drink around, around the river. But I think that's about it. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And that's one of the wonderful things we're going we're gonna to learn more and more as we spend time out here. Hi, Paula. Um, Paula is wondering why the Juma team can stay out later than the Mara team and uh, why I'm still out when James and Jamie have had to dash back up the hill to home. Now, while there's, well, Juma is on private land, so and it, it, you have to pay a private individual or whatnot to access that land or, or a lodge, uh, the, the Mara is is, is owned by the Maasai people. It is a national reserve. Um, it is open to the public. You can pay your park fees and, oh, there we go, having a bit of games. You can pay your park fees and then uh, enter into the park. And uh, 
being that said, that it has a very specific gate closing time, and uh, it's not like the private land where you don't have private, oh, sorry, public, the public driving around, and and uh, and that's why also the off-roading rules here are quite different. And the reason that I'm still out with a VMP uh, is because um, we have got a p permission, firstly, um, and we have an Ascari who is a, a um, one of the game scouts who, who looks after the reserve, or does anti-poaching, makes sure people are behaving, um, and he's on the back of the vehicle. And the condition of us being able to go out at night and, and follow animals hunting uh, is to have an Ascari with us. Now, the reason James and Jamie went back is that because um, we are going to be starting our build-up and rehearsals and things like that, and um, we, we all take turns to do sort of different shifts um, and uh, so I'm on the, the night shift and I'm quite happy to be here. We've got lions hunting, so I'm in, I'm, I'm in seventh heaven, and so is Vian for that matter. You know, Vian loves a good cat hunt, and, and that's the main reason. But now, the very cool thing is, I hope you guys are ready for some action, because after the end of the Safari Live show, when Juma goes home, I don't. I'm going to stay out with these cats. So keep a watch, full eye on the, our Safari Live Facebook page because we could go live at any second like we did last night with the leopard grabbing the warthog, James and lions feasting on a wildebeest and meeting the happy zebra hyena clan. So uh, stay tuned to, well, hopefully you've managed to figure out how to put the notification on on the Safari Live Facebook page and it'll tell you when we're going to go live. We could go live once, we could go live five times. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. But one of the, the really cool things about being in the Mara is we, we're going to let nature dictate the schedule. And of course, that's why we're here, to watch nature. And uh, every asset of it, or facet, sorry, not asset, uh, so it's very exciting for us to be able to follow these animals. So, if you want to see me later, keep an eye on the F Safari Live Facebook page. But in the meantime, Tristan has finally found something that is not a scrub here. <laughs>